Hello and welcome to the Staffing Circle. My name is Sayed Ayaz and I am the founder of the staffingcircle.com. In today's video, we will be discussing about what is enterprise resource planning ERP. So let's get started understanding with one of the easiest information technology that is enterprise resource planning which is a business process management software that allows an organization to use a system of integrated applications to manage the business and automate many back office function related to technology services and human resources. ERP software integrates all phases of an operation including product planning, development, manufacturing, sales and marketing. ERP software is considered an enterprise application as it is designed to be used by larger businesses and often requires dedicated teams to customize and analyze the data and to handle upgrades and deployment. In contrast, small business ERP applications are lightweight business management software solutions customized for business industry you work in. Enterprise resource planning software or ERP doesn't live up to its acronym forget about planning. It doesn't do much of that and forget about resource, a throwaway term. But remember the enterprise part. This is ERP's true ambition. It attempts to integrate all departments and function across a company onto a single computer system that can serve all those different departments particular needs that is a tall order building a single software program that serves the needs of people in finance as well as it does the people in human resources and in the warehouse each of those departments typically has its own computer system optimized for particular ways that the department does it works but ERP combines them all together into a single integrated software program that runs off a single database so that the various departments can more easily share information and communicate with each other. The integrated approach can have a tremendous payback if companies install the software correctly. Take a customer's order, for example. Typically, when a customer places an order, the order begins a mostly paper-based journey from in-basket to in-basket around the company, often being keyed and re-keyed into different departments' computer system along the way. All that longing around is in-basket causes delays in lost orders and all the keying into different computer system invites error. Meanwhile, no one in the company truly knows what the status of the order is at any given point because there is no way for the finance department for example to get into the warehouse computer system to see whether the item has been shipped. You will have to call the warehouse is the familiar refrain heard by frustrated customers. ERP when creates the old standalone computer system in finance, HR, manufacturing and the warehouse and replaces them with a single unified software program divided into software modules that are roughly approximate the old stand-alone systems, finance, manufacturing and the warehouse all still get their own software. Except now the software is linked together so that someone in finance can look into warehouse software to see if an order has been shipped. Most vendor ERP software is flexible enough that you can install some modules without buying the whole package. Many companies for example will just install an ERP finance or HR module and leave the rest of the functions for another day. So let's understand what is an ERP system used for and what it can do for my business. With the right enterprise resource planning software, all your business process come together for easy collaboration and rapid decision making to enhance your team's overall productivity. Leverage integrated system for finance management, gain control over your asset cash flow and accounting, supply chain and operations management, streamline your purchasing, manufacturing, inventory and sales order processes. Customer relationship management, which will improve customer service and increase cross-sell and upsell opportunities. Project management, get what you need to deliver, work on time, on budget with better billing and project monitoring. Human resource management, get help attracting and retaining good employees with tools to help hire, manage, and pay your team. Business intelligence, make smart decisions with easy to use reporting, analysis, and business intelligence tools. And let's understand the ERP industry and the packages 
so we have ERP divided into big ERP and small ERP. The big players in the ERP are SAP, Oracle Labs, PeopleSoft, JD AdWords, and Bun. And small ERPs are Navision, MFG Pro, BPCS, B2B, and Ramco. And let's understand who are all the participants in the ERP implementation. In every ERP, we have different people like one who are developing it and one who is administering it and lastly one who is using it. In technical terms, we describe them as follows. Functional consultant, technical or developer or ERP administrator and ERP administrator, users and consultants. Here is the diagram that shows what are the responsibilities of a functional consultant, technical consultant, ERP administrator, and end user? A function cons consultant is one who will do the ASIS study, existing system, actual requirement study of legacy system, which can be in any form versus manual system or using any technology. Functional consultant also prepared the flowchart. He also does gap analysis, he should have domain knowledge, requirement gathering, analysis, user interaction, design a workflow, define setup, how does a data application will work, and document ensure for future reference and for end user training. A technical person is responsible for development and customization of the forms and the reports, who can work on the RISE component that is reports, interfaces, conversion and extensions. An ERP administrator is someone who will be actively performing on the application side like patching performance tuning, cloning is for testing purpose and maintenance and uh, ERP administrators are uh, responsible for database administration, backup, recovery, performance tuning and finally end users are the people who gonna use this software uh, internal employees who is assigned to do this job are the power users and the end users let's understand briefly about different ERPs and the modules we have the very first thing we have is SAP we have different versions in SAP like R2, R3, CIN, country, Indian version in SAP, we have technical modules like ABAP, which is Advanced Business Application Programming. And in the functional modules, we have HR, Finance Control, SD, Materials Management, Procurement to Pay, PS, PM, QM modules. And in the administration side, we have SAP Basis. And let's talk about Oracle Apps. We have Oracle Applications 11i version and we have in the technical side PLSQL forms, reports, interfaces, conversions, extensions. In the functional side of Oracle Apps, we have human resource management system, manufacturing system, finance system, and inventory, purchase and order management. And in